Hey guys, Israel Favela here with Clearview Realty. So I wanted to give you guys some information about, you know, putting solar panels on your property and, you know, what that means if you wanted to sell your home in the future. So there are a lot of pros in putting solar panels in, in, in your home, right? So um, in the event that once you finish paying off your solar panels or if you pay it off in full, you're not going to have to pay that expense that you pay monthly for your electricity, right? But there's some things that you need to be aware of that I learned through my experience in helping people sell their home and even selling my own home with solar panels um, that I wanted to share with you all. So the first one is that a lot of times when people go to door to door selling solar panels is that they think that it's going to add value to your home. And not only that, but it's going to give you the entire worth of what the you paid for the solar panel. So as an example, if you pay $20,000 for your solar panels, the, the assumption is that it's going to add $20,000 to your home. So first thing is that the way that they determine the price, if someone's going to be adding value to your home, whenever an appraiser goes out to determine the value of your home is they get six months worth of homes that have sold within that neighborhood. And then they compare, they check the square footage to see if it's within close range. They also check to see if it's a two-story home and other areas. And then once they have it, you know, as closely matched as they can, then they start making adjustments. So if one has refrigerated air and the other one has evaporative cooling, the way that works is um, they'll make an adjustment. So they either increase or decrease, but just know this, that it's not dollar for dollar amount. So if you recently got, you know, refrigerated air and it costs you 6000 or $8,000 for you to get the package and you sell your home, you know, within a month or so, you're not going to get the $8,000 tacked on to the value of your home. They're only going to give you a fraction of that. So that's the same thing that it works for solar panels. Now, the thing with solar panels, though, is that they have to, de they have to determine that solar panels adds value to your home. So they'll get two homes that have sold recently in your, in your neighborhood, and they'll check to see one home that had solar panels that sold, one that didn't have solar panels that sold. And if they can determine that the one that had solar panels was increased in value because it had solar panels, then they'll say, you know what, you have solar panels on your home too. We're going to add value to your home. But once again, worst case scenario, um, or some best case scenario that they do add value, they're not going to give you dollar for dollar amount. But it's been my experience that the majority of the time they don't add value to, they don't add value to your home at all. So if you're considering selling your home, that's something to, to, you know, to think about. Um, another thing too is that they try to entice you and say that they're going to roll it over into your mortgage, the, the loan for the solar panels. Now, granted, it, it could save you some money if the solar panel loan has a higher interest rate and your mortgage loan is lower interest rate. But just again, if you sell your home, you're going to be forced to pay it off in full. It works. It, this is in favor for the people that are loaning you the money because now you're going to be forced to pay it off, right? Which brings me to my next topic. So if let's say, for instance, you don't combine it with your mortgage, what you can do is check to see if the loan is assumable. You have to make sure that you know that it's assumable before you sell it, because if it's not assumable, which means you can transfer it to another person, then you're going to be left with two options. Either you remove the solar panels completely and move it into your new residence, which can be a headache because you have to repair the roof, put it onto your new roof, right? And then pay the transfer fee, or you can pay it off in full, which, you know, a lot of times it's, it's not worth paying, not paying it off in full unless you just absolutely need to get rid of the home, right? So those are the three things that I wanted to go over. Um, there's some other things, but I, I think I feel like those are the major ones that I've ran into in helping people sell their home and uh, my, my, me, myself, selling my own home that had uh, solar panels in it. So I hope that helps. If you guys have any further questions about solar panels, you need uh, you know, some advice, by, advice based on my experience, feel free to give me a call or text. And I hope you guys, you guys have a good night. See you guys.